Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas on the Velder BB Show. How are you today? We're doing great. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Well, thanks for being here. It's holiday time, but they told me you guys want to talk money. <laughs> you know what? It's never, it's never the wrong time to be talking about money, especially when you're about to be spending a whole lot of money for holiday gifts over the next few weeks. That's very true. Well, why don't we start with you, Jay? Tell us about how we can be smarter and wiser. So as we think about where we are, you know, it's New Year's resolution time, uh, and, and so many people start to think about their physical uh, health. They talk about, well, I'm going to eat better, or I'm going to go to the gym more, uh, and we really think they should also be focusing on their financial fitness. And uh, much like someone who has never, uh, hasn't run in 10 years, wakes up on January 2nd and sets the goal that they're going to run a marathon, and they ultimately make it too complicated and can't do it, uh, we think in 2018 people should be uh, setting small financial goals and creating the right habits so they can continue it throughout 2018. I want my audience to know Jay Humble and David Siegel are here to get us financially and physically fit for the new year. Okay, Jay, I'm sorry. Uh, David, how can you add to the conversation? Sure. So the state of financial literacy in this country is truly concerning. Um, there are 38 million households that have no retirement accounts, and the average retirement account is only $60,000. As CEO of Investopedia, which is the largest financial education site, it's something that we care so passionately about, and we decided to team up with American Century to really drive financial fitness around the country by taking a bus tour to six different cities throughout the Midwest and talking to tens of thousands of people to help them to learn more about their financial goals and needs. Okay, what are some of the biggest takeaways from your adventure, the financial uh, coach? Yeah, well, the thing that surprised us the most was that regardless of age, we we met with thousands of people, uh, regardless of age, whether it was a 22-year-old that came to see us or a 52-year-old, the absolute number one goal was retirement. And you would think that a 22 or 25-year-old wouldn't be thinking about that, uh, but we found overwhelmingly people are concerned about retirement. And the second thing, which was not a surprise to us, is, is people were concerned that they didn't know enough. They didn't know how to get started. Uh, they, weren't, uh, they didn't feel uh, confident in their financial decisions. Uh, and so it was really fun to have our financial consultants out interacting with them. Hey, you, you, would, you would think that with people in their 20s with $1.4 trillion in student loans, the number one item would have been student loans. But even for people in their 20s, it was also about retirement as well. Okay. What? Do, do you guys together in this adventure, what do you offer us? Because, you know, we've got the, the Washington pressing on us. They say they're not going to help us with student loans. They're not going to help us with insurance and whatever. How can this be really real for us? So I think people first is just trying to educate people of, of their financial situation. We just think so many people are so busy. Uh, they're, they're working harder than ever to make ends meet. They're trying to be a great mom and dad, brother or sister. Uh, and so they live their lives and they're too busy. So one of the things we hope is that people will go out and check out financialfitnesstour.com where we have a quiz where they can test their knowledge. They can see content that we've created because the thing that we really are pushing people is ignoring it is not the solution. Uh, and so we're, we're just out trying to educate people to say, slow down, take five minutes, think about your financial fitness uh, and, and get on the road to financial freedom. And the okay. other thing I would say is just with New Year's resolutions coming up now, it's just as important to have a resolution around financial fitness and not just around fitness in general. The average person breaks their New Year's resolution around February 8th. So let's extend that. Let's set some appropriate goals and figure out how you could save a little bit more money 
budget a little bit better. You can learn from investopedia.com, from financialfitnesstour.com, and um, hopefully people take that seriously. Okay, guys, thank you. My time is almost running out, but I've got to ask you, I'm looking at this Facebook question. They want to know before this interview, what is one thing that they can do to have a better 2018? Anybody? Yeah, they need, to, they need to track their spending. Now, don't make it complicated. Track your spending for a week. Start January 1st. Track your spending for the first week. Know where your money's going because it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you spend. All about awareness. Jay Humble and David Single, thank you. I really you. appreciate this. You made, made my day. Awesome. Talking thank something you. we can really use. Thank you.